everyone, welcome to Dr. Deo. This week we're going to learn about how God is for me. There's a verse I really love in the Bible from Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. So God loves his people and there's nothing he wouldn't do for his people. Just as your parents love you and there's nothing they wouldn't do for you. Good day, change agents. I hope you had a wonderful week. So, can you still remember our mission codes? Okay, great. So, in the first week, we learned that God is our shepherd and we have everything we need. And then, in the second week, we learned that He gives us new strength and He guides us in the right paths, as He has promised us. And then last week, we learned that even if we go through the deepest darkness, we should not be afraid because God is with us and he will protect us. So agents, I am so excited for Gigi completing her mission. Are you not? Yes, but last week was so intense. When Gigi was stuck in the tunnel, I was so scared for her. I don't like being stuck in tight places. Do you? I bet not. So guys, I think turn to somebody next to you and tell them about a place or a situation that you don't want to find yourself stuck in. Oh, sorry, agents. Sorry. My phone looks like it's ringing. Let me answer it quickly. Hello? Is Agent Sia here. How may I help you? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, Captain. It, was, it is always so good to hear your voice. Uh... Yes, sir. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. Definitely. I will let them know. Thank you, Captain. Over and out. So, agents, the Captain has just told me that we need a few things to understand this week's mission even better. And he says we need three things. So, first of all, we need a cell phone. Then secondly, we need something that can help us tell what time it is. And then thirdly, we also need our hologram projectors that we did a couple of weeks ago. So if you have not yet done your hologram projector, I would suggest that you pause this video and look down in the description below so that you can see how you can build it and then quickly play the video so that we can continue with today's lesson. So I'm going to give you 60 seconds to quickly go get those items. Let me remind you quickly. So first of all, you need a cell phone. Then secondly, you need something that can help you tell what time it is. And then thirdly, you need to get your hologram projectors. So guys, I think we have to go quickly get those things. So our time starts now. <laughs> Wow guys, great job. I see all of you are back now. So quickly show me what you came with. Hold it up so I can see. Ooh, okay. So I see a watch there. I see a hologram projector. I see a couple of smartphones there. Great job guys. So I also brought my ordinary watch because it tells me what time it is whenever I look at it. So guys, 
we use watches and we wear watches every day so i also have a smart watch which i wear even when i go to sleep because it helps record my sleeping patterns and it also counts my steps yes right it counts my steps and while thinking about that steps i think uh, we need to step into worship don't you think so okay guys so let us stand up and let us worship god Awesome song. Did you know that worship is a lot like time? So, worship is one of our strongest weapons that we can use against worry or fear. So, when you want to know what time it is, you look at your watch. And now, when you want to know what to do when you feel scared or worried, you worship. So, guys, before we join Gigi on her last lap of the adventure, I just want to quickly remind you about Bibi this morning. So, you need to look out for Bibi. But this time, not on your screen. You will have to wait to see where Bibi is. So, guys, there you have it. I think we can join Gigi before anything else. Psalm 23 verse 5 to 6 You prepare a banquet for me where all my enemies can see me. You welcome me as an honored guest and fill my cup to a brim. Your goodness and love will be with me all my life and your house will be my home as long as I live. Hello friends, today I read through my mission manual and what I learned is that God prepares a banquet for me where all my enemies can see me. Hmm, interesting. Do you think you would be able to sit around a table with your enemies and eat? Perhaps this one isn't for me. I don't have any enemies.
Gigi, we have been enemies since kindergarten. Are you sure you have the right Gigi? Maybe it's another Gigi. I don't have any enemies. I love all people. I am an agent of change. Yep, I know all that. I've been watching you, even talking to you every now and then. The other voice on my mission, the one that said I was stupid. That was you? The one and only, but I have many friends too. Wait, this is not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. Exactly, Gigi. You were doing everything right. I cannot let that continue. Life isn't fair, is it? G-Man, can you hear me? Even if I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid because God will protect me. Gigi, can you hear me? G-Man, thank you for talking to me. I really needed to hear your voice. Why am I in the cell? I don't belong here. Well, Gigi, we must always remember that life does not always happen like we plan it. But we can always know. That you are with me through it all? Right, Gigi. As agents of change, we have an enemy that will try to break us. He will do things like throw us in a cell and hope that you will lose faith and side with him. No way, G-Man. I know who I am and I know whose agent I am. And that's why I want to teach you about your best gadget ever. Gadget? I didn't receive a gadget. That's because you have the gadget with you. It's your watch, Gigi. My watch? I remember I received it when I became an agent. But I never really looked at what it can do. Let me show you a story of other agents that were thrown into prison for telling people about Jesus. Who were they? Um, G-Man, how are you going to show me the story? I don't have my projector. Paul and Silas. Hold your watch so that the side shows to the wall. Gigi, then press the button at the bottom and see what happens. Act. God helps Silas and Paul escape from prison. But we are citizens of heaven where the Lord Jesus Christ lives. And we are eagerly waiting for him to return as our saviour. Philippians 3 verse 20 Acts 16 verse 16 to 40 Saul, who is now called Paul, used to persecute Jesus' followers, but now he was a missionary. Paul travelled to many foreign countries to tell everyone, not only the Jews, the good news of Jesus. Silas, who was also a believer, travelled with Paul as they shared this special and important message. There was a young slave girl who made a lot of money for her owners by fortune-telling. She followed Paul and Silas, shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God. They are telling you how to be saved. She was disrupting the peace while Paul and Silas were talking to other people. Paul finally turned around and said to the evil spirit, through which she was making these declarations, in the name of Jesus, come out of her. At that moment, the spirit left her. In the city of Philippi, some people became angry at Paul and Silas for preaching and casting out evil spirits. The slave girl's owners realized they were going to lose a lot of money, and they grabbed Paul and Silas to take them to the marketplace where they would have to face the authorities. These authorities shouted at Paul and Silas, ripping their clothes and beating them with sticks and whips. They were thrown in prison, and the jailer was commanded to guard them very carefully. He would be killed if the prisoners escaped. So taking extra care, 
the jailer locked Paul and Silas in the inner cell, and he put their hands and feet in chains so that they could not escape. It was close to midnight. Paul and Silas were singing and praying to God. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord, all you nations. nations. Lift him higher, people from every tribe. For great, great is his love toward us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. The other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a violent earthquake. The earth beneath them was shaking, and some of the rocks fell from the ceiling. All the prison doors flew open, and the chains fell off all the prisoners. The jailer woke up from the earthquake, and he thought everyone had escaped. He drew his sword about to kill himself, when Paul shouted, Don't! Do not harm yourself! We are all here! Quick! Someone! Bring some light down here! The jailer called. He ran to Paul and Silas and helped them out from the cell. What must I do to be saved? The jailer asked them. Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. They answered. Paul and Silas shared the good news about Jesus with the jailer and with all the people living in his house. The jailer washed their wounds and took good care of them. He and his family were baptized. The jailer invited Paul and Silas to share a meal in his home. He was filled with joy because he and his whole family had come to believe in God. We discover that God is in control no matter what. Paul and Silas remained obedient to God, even if the circumstances were difficult. They praised God, and he brought breakthrough at the right time. When the jailer saw how powerful God was, and how much he loved those who followed him, he wanted to know more, and he and his whole family were saved. Memorize. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Acts 16 verse 31. Wow, G-Man! I cannot think that they were able to praise God when they were badly beaten and chained. They were much worse than me. Yes, Gigi. They had joy in spite of their circumstances. Almost like having a five-course meal with her enemy sitting at the table. There you have it, Gigi. Psalm 23 verse 5 to 6. You prepare a banquet for me where all my enemies can see me. You welcome me as an honored guest and fill my cup to a brim. Your goodness and love will be with me all my life and your house will be my home as long as I live. Exactly, Gigi. Snap, crackle and pop! I've got it! Thank you, God, that your goodness and love will be with me wherever I go. Wow! I'm free! How did this happen? Well, Gigi, the enemy's goal was to defeat you, but you kept faith and praised God, so he has nothing to hold you with. Gee, man, thank you for giving me what I need and for being with me. You are my shepherd. Well done, Gigi. Your mission is complete. Wow, thanks, G-Man. I will live a life full of love and read my mission manual daily. That was absolutely amazing, guys. Did you enjoy it as much as I did? What a lesson, right, Change Agents? So, we need to know that whenever we praise God in any circumstance, it's like having a feast or a meal with our enemy at the table. And that really gets me fired up right now to actually just praise God. So don't you want to stand and let us worship God together?
darkness It breaks the clouds in my heart Jesus, it's you Absolutely amazing. Did you enjoy it as much as I did? What a lesson, right? So we need to know whenever we praise God in all circumstances, it's like having a feast or a meal with our enemy at the table. So that really gets me fired up right now to actually just praise God. So agents, I think we need to stand up on our feet and praise God. So while we are standing, I think we need to say our mission code one more. Don't you think so? Okay, so it's found in the book of Psalm 23 verse 6. And it says, I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life. Your house will be my home as long as I live. Don't you want to say that one more time? And we're going to put a bit of spice to it by adding moves. So let us say it together. So it's Psalm 23, verse 6. I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life. Your house will be my home as long as I live. In the book of Psalm 23, verse 6. Isn't that amazing? Gigi has now completed her mission. And we are now looking forward to the next adventure from our side here, from the Mission Possible team. So agents, I want you to know that God is our shepherd and that he will give us strength and that he will guide us in the right paths and that we should not be afraid because God will always be with us and he is for us. So agents from our side, from Dr. Deo Mission Possible headquarters, I wanna say over and out.